Hello and thank you for tuning into this episode of Animals and Ames. My name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor here for the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Control Program. Today our guest host is Abby Wyman. She's our Adoption Coordinator Extraordinaire and she's going to be the one showing you some amazing pets that we have available for adoption here at the Ames Animal Shelter. Keep in mind this is just a small sampling of the animals that are available for adoption. If you want to see everyone that's here for adoption, you can go to our website at amesanimalshelter.org and click on the pets available for adoption. You can look at dogs, cats, guinea pigs, rabbits, whatever we happen to have at the shelter. Click on that link and you'll be able to see what we have. So let's meet Abby and some of our furry friends that are looking for their forever homes. My first guest today is Minnie. Um, Minnie was um, from a kind of neglectful situation. Um, friends of her owners uh, use the pet food pantry that Bailing Out Benji in town has and they um, knew Minnie and some of her um, children were not being um, treated very well. It was kind of a out of control breeding situation that kind of got away from her original owners. So um, Bailing Out Benji then reached out to us um, regarding getting some <laughs> help placing Minnie and her son Morty for adoption. Um, you can't even tell now because she looks so phenomenal and she healed so well, but Minnie actually had these incredibly raw spots on top of her head and each of her ears. Um, it was kind of shocking to look at actually. Um, she was at Iowa State for I believe almost five days because she was also incredibly emaciated. Um, the other dogs were just kind of bullying her and she wasn't getting a lot of access to food. So she's come quite a ways. She had a lot of GI upset and had some pancreatitis. Um, all just kind of related to being super emaciated and not um, having access to food. And then we have to get their body restarted again on um, digesting food appropriately and giving her body what she needs. So she's come a long way. She's wonderful. Um, we have placed her into some foster homes who were able to confirm for us that she doesn't do great with cats, um, which is the only reason they didn't end up keeping her. They absolutely loved her and said she was a great girl. Um, she loves attention. She is um, a herding breed type dog. We don't know her exact breed mix, but you can tell looking at her, she's got some different herding type breeds in her. So they're usually very active breeds, very smart. They like to be kept busy. Um, so a lot of times they work well in really active households with kids that like, go, oh, is that a good spot? Oh, yes. Um, with kids that um, like going for lots of walks or a family that likes going for hikes. Um, she's just all around a really, really sweet girl. So um, her son has already been adopted, Morty. Um, so Minnie is now looking for her shot at um, her forever home. So if you're interested in Minnie, our application is on our website at amesanimalshelter.org. <laughs> My next friend today is Moa. Uh, Moa is one of our mommy kittens from this year. Uh, every spring we start what we refer to as kitten season. So uh, the weather does have an impact on um, when the cats tend to have their babies. So um, we in the Midwest, since we have seasons, we get a little break in the winter and then come spring, summer, we get hit with a lot of moms and their babies. Um, so I really feel for the southern states because they always are in kitten season because it's always warm. But um, for us, that starts uh, usually around April or May. So uh, Moa came to us um, from an organization that was helping out her mom um, who wasn't able to take care of her anymore. Uh, Moa is very, very sweet. She's a little confused by the cameras, so she's giving us a little bit of a face right now. Um, but she was a mama to, I can't remember if it was four or five kittens, wonderful little kittens. They were all brown tabbies. For whatever reason, this has been the year of black and brown tabby cats. <laughs> um, but she is incredibly sweet. She spent all of her time in a foster home. One of our great foster dads took amazing care of her, him and his wife. Um, she uh, was a wonderful mom to the kittens, took really, really good care of them, and now she is ready for her turn at getting adopted. So uh, because we have so many cats available for adoption, our cat cages are actually full right now. Um, all of our adult cats uh, since the month of June are $25 to adopt. 
Um, and it will be that way probably for the foreseeable future until we get our cat population down a little bit. Um, so if things are quieting down for you for the summertime, um, this would be a really great time to think about adopting when we have these discounted adoption rates. Um, it does include all of the things that we normally include with our adoption. So she is fully vetted, she's spayed, uh, microchipped, dewormed, flea preventative, vaccines, everything that she needs, she has. Um, just instead of our $100 adoption fee, she'll be $25 to adopt. She does well with other cats. She does well with kids. Um, we haven't tested her with dogs, but I would imagine she'd do well with dogs. If you had a dog, we would, we would test her with one before um, we send her home. So if you're looking for a really, really sweet, very mellow cat, Mo would be a great option for you. <music>
and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you for watching. Thank you.